So can red light therapy help you to recover faster from your workouts? There's a lot of people who will argue that muscle recovery is the most important aspect of your training. And this is probably true because if your muscles are recovering faster, not only are you going to decrease your chance of having an injury, but you're also going to be able to perform better in your follow-up sessions. So that means, you know, whether you're after performance gains or muscular gains, if you can have a harder training session and a higher training stimulus, you're going to get results faster. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you a study that was testing whether red light therapy could help with muscle recovery. And then I'm also going to show you the protocol that they used and how you can do this in the comfort of your own home. What's up guys, it's Nick Kutsia here and welcome to the Mychondria YouTube channel. On this channel, you're gonna find content all around light, circadian rhythms, and how you can hack these things in order to live your best life. So if you haven't already done so and you wanna make sure that you see all of our future content, then please make sure that you hit both the subscribe and the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our future content. So for today's uh, video, we're gonna be talking about muscle recovery. And you know, I did an undergraduate and a postgraduate uh, BSc in sports science and um, in biokinetics. And I can tell you that a majority of the things that we study is, you know, first of all, how do you prevent injuries? And then how do you optimize muscle recovery? And those two things go you know, hand in hand. So you know, things like improving your sleep and making sure that your diet is in place, all these aspects are extremely important, but when it comes to something like muscle recovery, if you can have a five to 10% you know, faster recovery in your muscle tissues, it's gonna have drastic improvements on your performance and the results that you're going to get. So what I'm gonna do, we're gonna jump straight into a study now and I'm gonna show you the protocol that they used and then we will have a look at some of the results. So this is a really exciting study because you're gonna see what profound effects red light therapy can have based on you know, a very, very simple protocol. So what they did with this one is on day one, they got a whole group of guys together and they all did what's called eccentric muscle training, which is basically a form of exercise that causes a lot of muscle damage. And then immediately after they finished their training, half of the guys received red light therapy on the muscles that performed the exercise, whereas the other half of the group, they were given a sham or fake light applied to the same um, area. So basically between these two groups, no one knew whether or not they were in the treatment group or whether they were in the control group. And what they did then is for the next 24, 48, 72, and 96 hours, they would retest um, to see all these different markers of whether they were recovering from the workout. So it's really nice that they didn't just use one marker you know, to um, represent muscle recovery. They tested their muscle soreness, the force production, and the range of motion across those four days, and they did it every single 24 hours. So the very first one, muscle soreness, anyone who's done you know, any kind of exercise or worked out in the gym, you will know that you don't necessarily feel that pain on the same day as your training session. You know that can get worse the next two to three days um, as you're recovering from that workout, depending on you know, whether you work out regularly or not. But for these guys, you can see the ones that didn't receive red light therapy. So that's the placebo group. Um, they're represented by the black dot. So you can immediately see, you know, 24 hours later, they've got a drastic increase in pain and that gets even worse, you know, 48, 72 hours. Their pain, even on day uh, four, is only really back down to the level that it was one day later after uh, their training session. Whereas you can see the people who had red light therapy, that's represented by the white circle. Their pain didn't increase nearly as much and, you know, even when it peaked, it started coming down again and by the time, you know, four days later, their um, scores for pain are much lower than the group that didn't have any uh, red light therapy. And it's even closer to you know, their baseline already. So if they were to do a training session, obviously they would be going in with a lot less uh, pain. The second thing, obviously force production is going to be extremely important if you're looking to improve your performance in the gym. Even if you're trying to gain muscle, you know, if you can lift a heavier weight, it's going to mean that you're gonna have you know, that greater stimulus for muscle growth. Now what you can see here is the placebo group, for those are the ones that didn't receive any red light therapy, their force production dropped to you know, below 60% after 24 hours, and it really stayed low, you know, even after the four days, they weren't even at 65% of their normalized uh, force production. Whereas the people who had red light therapy, you know, after 24 hours, theirs did drop, they went you know, somewhere between 75 and 80% of their normal force, and then that improved all the way up until the four day mark where they were uh, just under 95% of their normalized force production. 
And the last one, obviously this is something uh, that we've all felt. If you've done a whole bunch of bicep curls, you'll notice that you can't straighten out your arm again the few days afterwards. Um, and that is all to do with the muscle damage doesn't allow you to completely stretch that muscle. So when they were testing the range of motion, you can see both groups, they took a hard knock after 24 hours and the range of motion went down to about 90%, where the group that didn't receive red light therapy, theirs kept decreasing, you know, at the three day mark, they were um, below 85%, so about 82% of their normalized range of motion, uh, whereas the people who did receive red light therapy, they hovered around the 90% mark. Now, what's really amazing about these results is this was based on a single red light therapy session. And now, obviously, we've spoken about the mechanism on this channel before of how red light therapy works. You know, that red and near infrared light is able to give your cells more energy. Therefore, you know, whatever function they're trying to achieve, they can perform that better. So when you're applying red light therapy directly to your muscles, and then you're, you know, you've just had a really hard workout, those cells, your muscle cells, are now gonna be able to repair themselves better, and a lot of them aren't gonna have to actually be replaced because they've got enough energy in order to you know, repair themselves. So that is why you know, with a single session, we're seeing such uh, drastic improvements uh, in muscle recovery. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to jump into the specific um, dosage that they used in the study. I'm gonna show you how you can get that you know, using your own device at home. But before I do jump into that, if you are enjoying the content from today's video, please make sure that you smash the thumbs up button. That lets us know that you're enjoying this video and that it gives us motivation to make more content like this for you. But let's jump into the dosage from this specific study and this isn't gonna to take too long. Very simply, what they did in the study is they used a dosage of 20.4 joules per centimeter squared, which is just a measurement of light energy. And just to give you a representation using some of our devices, so you could get that within four minutes using a MyLight MIDI or a MyLight Max, and even as little as seven minutes using a MyLight Move. So if you guys are looking for something to really take your muscle recovery and performance to another level, then I highly suggest that you look into red light therapy. Obviously, the examples that I've given you today are using some really high quality devices, the ones from Mychondria. If you do use a cheaper device, you're probably gonna find that you know, the light intensity wouldn't be high enough that uh, you would be able to get a therapeutic dose in that time. And you also wouldn't know, you know are they using the right wavelengths of light? Um, are there, is there flicker? Is there EMF? You know, all these negative kind of uh, consequences that come with the cheaper red light therapy devices. So if this is something that you really wanna take seriously, then I highly suggest that you check out the MyLight range that's available on mychondria.com. If you have any questions from today's video or any suggestions for future content, then drop them in the comments section below. But other than that, guys, I hope that you have a fantastic day further and we will chat again soon. Cheers.